Chapter 1 The Bells of Wayside It is very important that the children at Wayside School know the bell system. The first bell in the morning sounds like this. Whoop, 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 whoop. When they hear it, they know they have 16 minutes to get to class. That's not too difficult for those in Mr. Hardgrove's class on the third floor. But Wayside School is a 30-story building with one room on each floor. So for those who happen to be in Mrs. Jewell's class, way up on the 30th floor, they must be ready on first whoop. Todd was in Mrs. Jewell's class. He was stuck behind a mass of kids outside the building waiting for the doors to open. He jumped up and down trying to see over the heads of those in front of him. If he was late, Mrs. Jules would put his name on the blackboard under the word discipline. The kids who went to class on the lower floors often dilly-dallied. If Todd got stuck behind a large group of dilly-dalliers, he'd have no chance. Inside the principal's office, Mr. Kidswater sat behind his enormous desk as he watched the clock. At the moment the second hand reached number 12, he shrieked into his microphone, Whoop, 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 whoop. The doors unlocked and the children stampeded into the building and up the stairs. Todd tried his best to weave his way to the front, but there wasn't a lot of room. Eight minutes later, Mr. Kidswater tugged on the rope hanging through the hole in the ceiling, and the second bell rang. Clang, 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 clang. Todd counted the clangs. Eight. That meant he now had eight minutes to get to class. Seven or nine clangs would have meant something completely different. Seven meant a helicopter was landing on the roof. Nine clangs meant a porcupine had entered the building. So far, he had only made it to the seventh floor, but he had finally managed to weave his way past all the dilly-dalliers. There was nothing to slow him down now. When he reached the 18th floor, he heard this sound. Ching-a-ling, ching-a-ling, ching-a-ling. Nothing to worry about there. That just meant they were out of donuts in the teacher's lounge. The scary bell was the late bell. It didn't matter where he was. It always sounded like an angry driver was slamming on a car horn right behind him. It made Todd jump every time. He quickly dashed from the 18th to the 20th floor. There was no 19th floor. His legs were sore and he was breathing hard as he reached the top. Just ahead he could see Joy entering the classroom. Don't shut the... Todd shouted. Joy shut the door behind her. Guzak, said Todd. He was just opening it when the horn blared as if right behind him. You're late, Todd, said Mrs. Jules as he entered the classroom. Write your... I know, he said. He wrote his name on the blackboard under the word discipline.